Welcome to our Daily Hope. I'm intern Pastor Renee, and I'm so glad you were able to join us for today's devotion. You may have heard, we are the salt of the earth. But what exactly did Jesus mean by this? And what about the fact that we're the light of the world? Was Jesus talking to us? Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 through 15 say, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its savor, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled by men. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. Instead, they set it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. The Synoptic Gospels all have references to this passage about being salt. Jesus says, you are the salt. Not that we can be salt or that we should be salt. He says, you are the salt of the earth. That means the choice isn't ours. We are salt because he is in us. It's the nature of salt to preserve. We are to keep or preserve the truth of who Jesus is, our savior. Salt is essential to all organized life. It's a great preservative from corruption. Christians living under the guidance of the Holy Spirit and in obedience to Christ well, we'll inevitably influence the world for good and preserve it from corruption, just as salt has a positive influence on the flavor of the food it seasons. Well, what does Jesus mean by if the salt loses its saltiness? Well, if we're salt, then if as Christ's disciples, we harden our hearts and we turn away, then just like salt that's lost its flavor, we're worse than useless to his kingdom. So what does it mean to be light of the world? The presence of light in darkness is something unmistakable, isn't it? And as incredible as it sounds, Christ's work on earth has been entrusted to us. The light is us, the disciples of Jesus, the light of the Holy Spirit within us, given to us by God and it can no longer be hidden. The good works that the Holy Spirit has given to us to do for God's glory shine a light pointing toward Christ. And we need to let that light of Jesus shine within us by sharing the gospel of Christ's death and resurrection for the forgiveness of sin. We are the salt. We are the light. By pointing to Christ, we are part of God's plan to enlighten and reform the world that's immersed in the darkness of sin and denial. Let us pray. God of all power and might, you have entrusted us to be the salt of the earth and a light among the nations. Give us wisdom to share your word of truth and salvation to all who need to hear the good news. Amen. Thank you for listening to our Daily Hope, and I hope you've been blessed by this look into scripture today. Please feel free to like, share, and comment below, and have a blessed day, and let your light shine.